in this section, guys, I want to cover bolt maintenance. Um, I'm not going to do the 1.0 core. I can do the 1.0 core if you ask. The, but being that the majority of guns out on the market um, have either updated to the 2.0 core or are shipping, you know, all come with the 2.0 core. With the 2.0 core, you want to take it apart. Obviously, you want to take out your bolt cap and bolt guide, your bolt itself, and your firing cam. Those are the three major parts to your gun, to your firing assembly. Um, with your bolt guide, um, I've seen a lot of people, I've seen this happen a couple times, is, and actually it cup quite a bit, was that people would come in saying that their bolt was sticking too far into the breech and they couldn't get any paint to feed down into the, um, into the breech. The issue with it was someone would take it apart and not screw the bolt guide all the way down into the bolt cap, thus allowing your bolt to stick forward. Well, people always seem to forget on the Luxes as well that the bolt guide comes out and on here is your bumper o-ring and then inside you have a 1770 HBNR. When reassembling that you want to clean this out every so often and lubricate it. Um, it's not a dynamic, it is a non-moving seal um, but you want to make sure it's well lubricated. I do recommend because the machining on the actual valve guide or the bolt guide here sorry is kind of sharp around the edges. Um, use a rag or um, if you have an Allen key that's large enough to fit, it's large enough to grab onto, but small enough to fit through the, the holes, use that and turn it, make sure it's snug. It is sharp. If you grab it and crank it, it can cut you. So I recommend, you know, doing that. Also been seeing a lot of posts about lubricants. Um, use factory lube. That is what comes in the box. That is what has been tested. It's been tested against everything else. That's what's proven to work. The Houston Heat guys use it. Um, Seattle Thunder guys were using it. Anyone who shoots a Lux, and there's no secret to it, everything they use is factory parts, factory lubrication, factory O-rings, um, with the exception of a couple guys using different triggers. Uh, there's nothing special out there. There's no super secret way to, to tune a Lux or have it shoot the way, you know, let's say that you know, Sam Monville's Lux shoots or Ryan Moorhead's. Those guys are using factory parts, factory seals, and factory lube. Uh, they're not using anything else, um, so if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me, the way I look at it. And when you would lubricate this one, you want to only use enough grease to fill the voids between the o-ring and the actual hard parts. Um, I like to make sure, especially with the 2.0 cores, always inspect your spring. Make sure your spring is straight. Um, a good way to test that you're going to have a good seal is by using the tip of your finger, pressing down and letting it hold suction. If it has good suction, it has a nice pop to it, that means your 1370s on the bolt guide are nice and good in size and they have a good seal to them. Um, then you wanna place you know, your bolt inside the firing can and slide the firing can back over the bolt guide. A good way to check with the 2.0 springs is if you have a good spring and you have a good you know, O-ring buildup, good seals, and you didn't build something that's too tight or too loose, when you go to do the flick test, a lot of times you see people just let it go and they're like, oh, it didn't return all the way. You want to actually pull it down and snap it up. If it snaps back all the way like that, you have a good spring in there and your O-rings are set properly. And then, you know, obviously reinstalling. You know, you would think something like this would be very easy to understand. Um, I've seen a lot of guys just try to ram this bolt home. You want to kind of be gentle with it. I mean, the gun itself, you're not talking about a $200 uh, spider or something along those lines. This is a high-end marker, so you want to take care of it. Um, always pull up on the bolt guide, or the bolt latch, I should say, and push it all the way in, and you'll hear it, hear it click and lightly push the bolt cap down. It'll seat in there um, properly, um, and thus, you know, you won't get any anti wear on the back of your gun, and it won't chip away. I know a lot of guys out there have the 3D splashes or the one-of-one one luxes, um, and the last thing you want to do is just gash away that nice looking anno and be left with a huge scratch in the back. Um, and one more thing I wanted to cover, I will be going over the Shocker RSX. Um, I do have that as well. Um, I will be covering that for any questions, a lot of frequent stuff I see. I'm trying to more so do these videos to help people out. Um, I can do an update. I don't really have you know, tons and tons of stuff to go over. The Lux is a platform that's been out there now um, for quite some time. 
Um, it works really well. I, enjoy, I love shooting my Luxes. That's why I have two of them. Um, the Shocker RSX is a great gun, too. Um, you know, anything, I've been a huge fan um, of anything that come out of, let's say, like the DLX works. Um, and those lines, uh, the quality in the product is good. The shot, the consistency. Um, no, the Lux is not the most efficient gun on the market. There's been plenty of guns that have surpassed it. But that shot quality, um, in my opinion, is second to none. Um, but yeah, and I have one more thing to go over. We'll have another video. We'll be covering this little guy um, right after this. Thank you.